ready for the whiskers. Now this is the part that <clears throat> people are frightened to death of. And uh, I can understand that because once you've done all that, all that work you put into it, and if you go and put a silly little whisker on, it's going to look daft. But you've got to do it. Now what I've got is two very sharp pencils. I've got a white and I've got the 179, which is the primarily cut, the, the, the main colour here. So we, we first of all start with a very simple one. We'll put a few in here. Just like that. Now you see, wasn't so bad, was it? And over here, a few more. Doesn't matter if they curl, they look even better. It looks more natural. Okay, so so now we've done that. What about down here? How's it how's it gonna look down here? Well, let's go, let's go, let's go for a few. Notice I'm holding the pencil like that. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to get the zip, which I like. There we are. Nice, isn't it? Okay, now we do a few, a few over here. Very nice. What about down here? I can't see them. Well, that's when we bring in the other colour. Now, the other thing is, you see, you can't hardly see them on the on the um, background either. So just the odd, odd one. Don't want too many, just a few. And then, and here again, just a few. Have one curl down here. There we are. And all you do with that is you just touch it with your finger. Like that. Touch it with your finger. So it sort of mets, smokes it into the background. There we are, folks. Now, no one's going to say to you, hmm, he's got some dark whiskers on that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? 